Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over a concept called timing questions in Qualtrics. This is a question type that allows you to track how long someone spends on a survey page and also enable other features to skip the page after a certain amount of time, to show a countdown clock of how long someone has to spend on that page, or other things like the time to first click, the average length of time between clicks on a particular page, and how long it takes for a submit button to show up on a page. It's a very unique feature that not too many people use, but is tremendously helpful, especially when you want to provide some incentives for someone while they're taking your survey. With that being said, let's hop into the survey and take a look. Now, the place where you can find the timing question is either here. If you click on this drop down menu, scroll down, you'll find it usually under the net promoter score. And it's this timing question right here. Now to add it to this particular block in this page, click add new question, scroll down and timing. Now, the unique thing about this timing question, I'm going to move it to the top. So it's a lot more visually appealing when we do our tests. Now, the unique thing about this question is the special settings here. You can choose to delay showing the submit button after a certain amount of time auto advance after a certain amount of time, show a countdown clock so that a person knows how much time they have while taking the survey on that particular page and other things like that. These are really special features that are really helpful to encourage people to either move faster or slower in certain sections and also auto advance them if they're taking too long in a specific section. So for this quick test, I'm going to do auto advance after 20 seconds and also show a countdown clock. Let's do 10 seconds, 10 seconds, countdown clock for 10 seconds. So that once the countdown clock is up, I'll automatically advance to the next page. I'm gonna publish this and then we're gonna take a quick preview to see what that looks like. All right, so the survey starts, I click and it times things like my first click, my last click, the time in between them and you can easily use that to figure out the average time between clicks. And then after the countdown clock hit zero, if you saw here, then I automatically went to the next page. Now let's head back into the survey and then we can try out the other timing feature, which is related to submit buttons. I'm gonna add one more timing question. And delay showing the submit button after five seconds. Now this one is very helpful and very useful because it can help you incentivize people to stay on the page longer and answer more questions before the submit button shows up so that at least you can get a little bit more data for the more lengthy surveys that some people do send out. So you can delay the submit button after let's say a minute or two minutes so you can encourage people to answer at least a portion of the survey before submitting instead of just speeding through and hitting that submit button. So once again, let's do a quick preview. This time we're gonna take a look at the countdown clock and what the submit button does. So in this case, we have this countdown clock times my clicks. And then once that hits zero, I'll automatically be advanced. Boom, I'm advanced to the next one. This one also times my clicks. And then this one doesn't have a countdown clock, but after five seconds, the submit button showed up down here. I click next. I guess there's one more block. Ah, okay. So there is one more block. I thought this was the last block. The last block would be here for me to move on. So I can add one more in here. Let's see 10 seconds along with the countdown clock. It shows us 10 seconds so that we can do one last test and take a look at what that looks like. All right, move on from this. So this one, I'll have to do the five seconds wait before the next button shows up. Awesome. And then same thing here. I'm going to do that 10 second wait and then that submit button should show up without a problem. Perfect. And it does. 
Timing question is an amazing question that is very useful in Qualtrics surveys. And I always recommend it to people who are trying to incentivize people to either stay on certain portions of the survey and answer more questions or give more data or skip past certain ports of the survey if they're spending too much time there. If you guys have any additional questions or concerns about the functionality of the timing question, please feel free to reach out. Always have to clarify anything or go over anything further. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video.